<clears throat> Hi, I've got your plan open. I assume you're talking about this area here. And it is a bit problematic because normally you would draw a dialog box here and then in the room specification dialog specify there's a flat ceiling there. But because of these, uh, the deck here kind of precludes that as a, as a uh, solution. So I think like Tommy said, what I would do, as he recommended, we'll open this uh, elevation camera you've got. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, what, what I would do, if I were you, I mean, this would be one way to do it. And I'm gonna go over here to the Polymon tool and uh, draw a Polymon here. Take it, use the break line tool just to change the shape. I just want it to fit inside the roof. Yeah, we'll convert that to a polyline solid. And I'm going to make it uh, eight feet thick in plan view. And also go over to line style. It's always a good idea to turn off the bumping so that you can move it around without bumping into other CAD objects and walls. Now I'm gonna change them, oh. Here's the object that I, I made. I'm gonna move that object just inside. There, just inside the uh, beam there, whoops. I want to, uh, there we go. Let's fill that area up. Yeah, and I'm going to change the material from the uh, default concrete to this white stuff. So I'm going to move that a little bit further back so it doesn't. Hmm, where's the roof planes? Okay, I guess I better turn the roof plane. Oh, there's the roof planes. I don't understand the roof planes out here. I got this back here. Why is it? Well, okay. I'll move it further back. That's weird. Ah, okay. It wasn't where I thought it was. Wanted that back there like that. That color is not what I intended. What is that? Oh, okay. I don't want it bright, I want it white. Okay, you get the idea. Now, if you, you wanted this to be a different material here from here, you just add another slab here, a uh, half inch thick, and put a different material on it. But that That's the easiest way to handle that. I I think I agree with, with Tommy. Um, since you don't have a room dialog box to work with to just turn the ceiling on, then this is the way I would do it. Hope this helps you. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Have a good day in any case.